What's happening guys? Furious Pete here and I am in Hawaii. Uh, what better place to work out than in Hawaii and I'm here with Jack from uh, the owner and operator of CrossFit 50. Uh, I'm just going to let you introduce what we're doing today because that's just going to be so much easier. Cool. I'm just going to run Pete through a little bit of trickery from Westside Barbell, some methods and some action um, techniques for powerlifting on the bench press. That's yeah. basically it. It's, it's going to be it. We're going to show you a cool, cool variation. So. Just get right into it. small jumps on the weight. It's gonna allow your central nervous system to adjust a little quicker as opposed to if we jump the weight super high where you might be capable of moving the weight but your central nervous system will be ready for that load. But it's like, woo! -hoo. The thing when you're operating the bamboo bar is that you spot to the front and the back of the bar because what's gonna happen is it's gonna want to dump on somebody's face or on their stomach. So the main thing is to guide front and back and stay close the whole time. It's not like a regular bench press where you just stand back and hope it goes well. pounds per side you start getting that real hard earthquake effect um, being that Pete is benching in the fours the 53s didn't really do the damage to him he could control it a little better because the absolute strength is a little higher so when we added the 26s on to each side that's what put him into that next zone where the bar started getting out of control and the central nervous system really started working really hard so if he was training here in the gym what we do is we know that this is the breaking point where he's having a hard time 26s, we back the weight off to maybe 18 pound kettlebells, and then after the central nervous system gets used to, to the work, he can progress up to the 26 pounders and crush it, no problem. Huge arms. 
common saying in powerlifting, if it ain't tight, it ain't right. It's all about tight, that's what she said. You get low on me, that's what I'm saying, Brizzy. <laughs> but every video I do has to be gay. <laughs> Slingshot is a form of accommodating resistance. What it does is just like a chain, it makes the weight get a little lighter off of his chest and it goes away and you use all your own body force at the top by itself. It just helps you where so you're really weak weird. off your chest. I've never used one of these before, ever. <laughs> nothing, no seats, no nothing. The most I've ever used is straps and a belt. How much as far as I've gone? <laughs> uh, 430 pounds, not weight. 430 pounds and stuff. We're in row. Double A. But you can feel that at the bottom where it just like springs here. Well, you sprung and then when you got into your own body, your body was like, oh shit. Yeah, work. I, gotta, I gotta make this like, you gotta go more power here, right? I don't think go another set because you know how to use it now. I'm gonna do one more yeah. here. Yeah. Turn it purple because it's so tight. And you can see there's just a different color between this and this now. <laughs> We're still gonna try it. Go big Nana! Easy! All right, there you go, guys. Sweet little workout. Learned a lot of variations. Uh, definitely chest destroyed. Everything really destroyed. Uh, thanks a lot for the workout. Much, really, really appreciate it. Uh, check out Jack's links in the description below to his gym and so forth. And check out uh, Westside with all, for all their accessories, their barbells, their equipment that we were using today. Catch you guys next time. Stay dedicated for life. And of course, stay sexy, stay hungry, and get lean. Don't do that right <laughs> <laughs>